being that I'm now a new iPhone user and I'm using email on the iPhone, on my desktop, I use Thunderbird. And I've been using it for years, and I've got so many files and everything built up, and it's wonderful. I really do love the email program. But I've been using it on POP, and I'm wondering if I switch it over to IMAP, if I'm going to have some kind of amazing problem, or if everything would go up, uh, be able to be on, on the server, and I'd be able to see all those folders and everything if I yeah. switch over to IMAP, if it would upload it and be there. I have no idea. I've never used IMAP before in my life. and and don't understand how it works, really. I, I'm thrilled to have this question. I, I First of all, I think Thunderbird deserves more attention. It is an excellent free program from the folks who do Firefox. Uh, they they I, There's something going on with it. They want to spin it out. I don't know. But it's an open source project. It will be maintained. It is, in my opinion, the best email client out there. It does everything you want it to do. And yes, it does IMAP, and that's how I use it exclusively with IMAP. So what is IMAP versus POPs? POPs the old way of doing it, post office protocol. And it was when your you got your email from your internet service provider, and they didn't want to store your mail because, my goodness, hard drives were expensive in those days. So they said, look, here's how it's going to work. Your mail will arrive here. We'll hold it for you just like a post office box, but you got to empty it out. So every time you collect your mail, you're going to delete it from our, your post office box and put it on your hard drive. Just kind of like a post office box. Imagine if you just left the mail in the post office box, it'd get jammed and stuffed and pretty soon you'd run out of room. But nowadays, hard drive space is cheap and people have more than one computer. You know, they have their phone, they have their laptop, they have their desktop, they might even have a tablet, and they'd like to have a single representation of email on all of those instead of, oh, I downloaded it on my desktop, now I can't see it on my phone. So along comes, and I think Gmail really started this, and this was more than 10 years ago, people started using Gmail, and they liked it because the G Gmail mail was the same on every device, you used a web browser to get it, but it was the same everywhere. And that got people used to the idea of keeping the mail on the server. And in fact, if you remember in the early days of Gmail, that was the pitch. Never delete your mail. We're going to give you, I was like, I can't remember what it was, but it, like a gigabyte of storage and you'll never run out. And, and they've, stick, by the way, ever since they increased the storage a little bit at a time. Uh, so if I take my Thunderbird settings right now and change them from POP in the current configuration that I have, change it from POP to IMAP, will it upload everything back to the server? No. Or is it... Okay. No, stuff that's downloaded is gone and will only lo exist locally ever. However, anything new will stay on the server. And if you create a folder on your Thunderbird locally, it will... And by the way, Thunderbird's not the only IMAP client. Apple Mail will do it, Outlook. Everything that does mail pretty much now does IMAP. It's a more modern protocol. Uh, and it so if you create a folder on Thunderbird, it will create that folder on the server. If you create a rule that sorts mail... It will generally propagate back to the server. Junk mail gets saved on the server unless you tell it otherwise. So does sent mail. Actually, that's a nice feature because if you send something from Thunderbird on your desktop, it'll still be in the, it'll be in the sent folder when you look on your phone. Will the folders that already exist um, on on the pop server yeah. move up? Or yeah, what happens? Uh, no, folders you created locally will not. I don't think. Okay. What but happens but when you do this? IMAP, yeah. What happens when you do this is IMAP you're going to copy is. the. What's going to happen is you're going to copy the structure on the IMAP server. Now you should okay. know one thing, which is that Google Gmail is not quite IMAP. It's it's Google version of IMAP, and in fact doesn't do exactly the same thing. It doesn't confuse Thunderbird, but you just should be aware of that. They use instead of folders they use tags which kind of look like folders but the problem is there can be multiple tags in a single single email and some imap clients are baffled by this apple's had problems with this in the past so is it gmail that you want to use your imap your thunderbird with actually it's my time warner email okay account. yeah if they are are they aol now or what, are, what who provides the i think they're their own i haven't their been own. able to figure okay. it out might be yahoo might be aol might be some you know Verizon now owns AOL, so it probably won't yeah, be AOL. It uh, the the email address and without giving my email address, but it's a uh, it's because I'm in Maine. It's Maine.rr for Roadrunner. Roadrunner, okay. Yeah, they may they may Comcast hosts their own mail. I would look at a third party client that's not owned by your i or a third party server that's not owned by your internet service provider, just so that if you decide someday to leave Roadrunner, that you I mean I know you won't because Maine you don't have many choices, but just in case it's always a good idea to have your own. I use a company called Fastmail. It's not free. But for most people, Gmail, which is free, is all you need. The way I do a weird thing to get rid of spam. Gmail's the best anti-spam client. So I have all my mail go to Gmail. 
You know, I bought a domain name, leoville.com. I have my domain registrar. Just any mail that comes to leoville.com goes, boom, gets sent to Gmail, where it gets churned, and all the most of the spam, like 98% of the spam is gone. And then I use Fastmail, which is an IMAP <laughs> server. Fastmail goes and gets my mail from Gmail, and it uses rules that I've written on Fastmail to sort my mail. So it's sorted on the server. And then I use Thunderbird to get it. This is crazy, I know, from, uh, fa from Fastmail. But the advantage of this is I don't get, uh, you know, spam is well handled. Filtering is well handled. Uh, my mail is highly organized as a result. And when you get as much email as I do, that's a good thing. Yeah, I, everybody should use IMAP, I think. Leo Laporte, the tech guy.